Sorry in the white shot. Please welcome Megan Gale. <laughs> Well, obviously, I mean, Lens. Anyway, I am... Um, oh, no, because, no, I'm thinking about that because you are... You're currently your, your swimwear line. Yes. You're actually helping fit bikinis and swimsuits to, on, on... Today on I was, yeah. yes. So I can't imagine a worse job in the world. <laughs> like, I've been bikini shopping. That's hard work. No, well, it's, a, it's actually quite a confronting task for a lot of women. So today we did a workshop down at David Jones um, in the Burke Street Mall in Melbourne, and I was literally in the change rooms with, with women helping them get the right oh size. Gosh. What yes. kind of approach do you take? Because I used to sell bathers when I was 19 in a surf shop, and one of, my friends, I love that. one of my friends said, go in with the theory, the first pair of bathers they put on go, oh, no, that doesn't work for you. So when they put the next pair on, you go, that looks amazing. They'll believe you because you were honest enough to tell them the first pair, which I always found such a horrible thing to have to say to people. Yeah, but did you do it? But it worked, and I thought, is that what all they all do when they say, oh, that looks great, you know? Do you I'm honest pretty honest. But, well, this one particular lady, she yelled out and asked for my help, and she said, look, I love this, but it's not quite enough coverage on the bust. And I said, that's because it's for that a would C be nice cup. If we all had that problem. <laughs> for a C cup, and I said, you're at least a double D. You've got the wrong size on. So I went and got her a double D to an E cup, fit her like a glove, and she bought it. So that's the thing. A lot of women actually don't put the size eyes on that they need to. So right. it was great to kind of help them and talk them through the different silhouettes and what they could possibly fit into. What do you think I am? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, whoa, you're quite buxom actually. <laughs> I, noticed, I noticed that about you. Uh, I, was, I was buying new bathers the other day and someone described my body as looking like a snake swallowed a beanbag. Is that a compliment? <laughs> You could take that either or. How did you take it? Uh, I, I'm obsessed you by you blush? at the moment, by the way, because well, I love you. have heard about this Project, Project Runway, Runway all day. All day like, I love Project Runway. I mean, oh. UFC fighting and tough men stuff. <laughs> <laughs> But I also love Project Runway and Sava. Do you remember Sava from the series? Was, yes. Can you talk me through what that fella was like? He was, um, I think, the self-appointed villain of mm. this. He even had a villain moustache, oh, which he twirled. <laughs> I don't know if he grew that for the show, but um, look, he's been in the business a long time. I and mean, this was he was one of the people that we get on that's actually been in the industry for years and is looking for the show as that one last crack but at can, having a go. But can I say this about him on the show? And if you didn't see the show, what he'd do every time was he'd finish before everybody else and then he'd boast about the fact that he'd finished before everybody else. Well, he had a nap once. We busted yeah. him having a nap. Having a nap in the time while everyone else is rushing. But then they would go to runway and everyone would just say, oh, your things aren't finished. You probably should have worked while you were <laughs> See, no, that's the thing. I think, um, yeah, that's he probably should have focused on this because he's not in the final, unfortunately. But he was a good bloke. <laughs> Megan, you've also been filming the Mad Max sequel, I gather, which is... So tell us about I that. I have. I have. That was, um, that was so much fun. Such a great experience. It was in Namibia, wasn't it? In Namibia, yeah. yes. My first um, trip there and had never been there before and it was just you know such a wonderful experience and got on board and did my own stunts which oh, almost killed so myself. Did, 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 you, did you watch the originals uh, though which was what late the first one was what late 70s 79? Well yes I do actually remember them from when they were you don't released. Get oh, Some come of them on. yeah no um, <laughs> many moons ago but so I was very familiar with the franchise heading into it. So, so what kind of stunts were you doing? Um, I don't want to give too much away, but a lot of uh, a lot of rolls across rocky grounds and going down up and down towers and you get bruised up. A bit of, doing... uh, yeah, I completely wrecked my knees one day and almost put my shoulder out and dodging out of the way of cars and bikes and standing off on the back of bikes shooting guns. Learnt a lot about shooting guns. I'm pretty good with <laughs> <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of semi-automatic weapons now. But anyway, that's by the by. You seem really really happy. <laughs> Is that a bit twisted? <laughs> well, anyway, it's always good to have new skills. We've yeah. got some more headlines to get to, but stay around. This year, uh, it's the year of Gautier, with the Aussie pop star scoring three Grammy nominations. They include Record of the Year for Mega Hit Somebody That I Used to Know, as well as Best Alternative Music Album. Awesome. And it's now Aussie hotels that are cashing in on the Fifty Shades craze. Fans keen to spice up their love lives are being offered satin blindfolds, chocolate-coated strawberries and so-called intimacy kits and a guaranteed memorable dirty weekend. You travel a lot. Have you come across these kits anywhere? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> if I had, I don't think I'd tell. What is an intimacy kit? Well, I don't know. You see, I thought Fifty Shades. I haven't read the whole book, but I didn't think it was chocolate-coated strawberries. I thought it's it was kind of more or... like, you know... That's yeah. Fifty Shades of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the handcuffs? You know, isn't that more... To... I, don't, I haven't well, read you it. Well, so. you travel a lot for your work. What do you look for in a hotel? Because what I always love, if you go into a hotel and they have a sash over the toilet, because then it's like your toilet like Miss Universe. Oh, that, yeah. that, <laughs> that paper sash. Yeah, that says, the... someone cleaned this and they <laughs> Yes. What do I look for? Yeah, what do you look for? Um, 
Oh gosh, I think noise for me, I like as quiet a room as possible, so anything that's pretty quiet. I'm I don't think you'll get that in the Fifty Shades Hotel. No, 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 no. So. not that you not. would know. You, you have no idea. <laughs> if you want details on Megan Zizzler's swimwear, head to our website. All the details are there. Would you please put your hands together for Megan Gale? Thank you. We're going to take a break back up to this. Tomorrow on the project, they were a controversy in Victoria, so should New South Wales be subjected to the rollout of smart meters? Plus, Selma Hayek and Kevin James. That and all the day's news, the way you want it delivered, 6.30 tomorrow night on the project. Oh, shit, shit.